Jeez. Holy Jesus. So, they are huge. I must feel so claustrophobic to be picked up in one of the in the cabins up there. Yeah. Well, I got to sit in the lightning that was quite claustrophobic. I barely fit. So, yeah. What can you tell us about some of these planes then, Sam? Um, well, I know that one's Phobos. I know it probably says that on the sign, but I recognise the shape. The weird thing is, I think I know where I get my love of planes from. Mum, sort of like, since being a child, was always interested in like the war planes. Yeah. And so she's able to identify them. Yeah. So I think that's where I get it from. Yeah, 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 it was. Shall I start now? Yeah, you can do. I've, st I've already started mine. Mine's been going for a minute already. Hang on. Oh, I bet you're really interested in that missile system, aren't you? I am. I'm going to see if I can get it. Hang on, I'll start with this one here. At least the weather's improved. Bosh! Look where we are today. We are today. We're at Flixton Air Museum. We're here with Sam. Hello. We're here <laughs> with Josh. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we have got this ginormous plane. It's massive. Look at the size of it. Reminds me of DC-3. You could say that. Yeah, because I've seen this docu these documentaries, this um, airline called Buffalo Airways that flies them. Can you see on there, Josh, where this one is based? I think it was somewhere in the Middle East. Can do. So there's something about Egypt. And then something about Cyprus and that's quite cool. <laughs> I want to be stored like the other aircraft, but I'm bigger, so I cost more. <laughs> that's funny. So sort of planes that one then, Josh. What? That's the Pito tube. It measures the airspeed and everything. They have to make sure it doesn't get frozen or blocked because if not, it gives um, faulty information. Here we have a phantom. Cool, that rocket's huge, but I bet today's ones are even bigger. Looks like it needs a good clean though, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that actually a Bloodhound MK1 oh. Sam missile. <laughs> Big boy. It's named after Sam. Yep. <laughs> I bet Mum would know what a lot of these planes are. Yeah. I bet Mum would know what these planes are without even reading the My signs. This one looks like a MIG something. I was right, it's a MIG 15. What? How did you get that correct? It was something to do with like the nose shape. And then this one looks like a Picara. I think it was made in 1972. Could be. Was I could just about make out the name, but I can't really tell. Argentina. 1956. Wow. First flu. It was five years after my granddad was born. He was born in 51. Oh. Ah, my huh. mum was born in 1965. Cool. So when she went to school, there'd be blackboards and typewriters. My first school that I taught in had blackboards. <laughs> <laughs> Schools have changed quite a lot. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. Well, it's the T28 Troden. If you guys want anywhere to come during the holidays, make sure you go online and put Brixton Air Museum. It's so much <laughs> it's like promotional. <laughs> come to Brixton. <laughs> You either go to Sam's channel, it's Samantha's Plane Spotting Adventures. I'll put a link down in the description when I put when I edit this video. If you want to learn about planes, you can also comment on Sam's um, videos and ask her about them and she she will reply to you. Yep. Cool, looks like th these parts have seen better days. You could say that. Actually, it tells you what they are. Crushed Carton Colville. A 14 cylinder twin row radial engine from B24 14 110 169, 169 Bucky the Penny of 853 Squadron. The propellers almost look like they would, the way they've like corroded. They do, don't they? Looks yeah. mad, doesn't it? Huh? You wanted us in the picture? Yeah, it's nice to be in the picture, huh? Oh, I'm not first! <laughs> Over here where the second hit on the camera, there are, this is the entrance and exit. Well, no, it's not really the exit. It's like a six out four mile with that huge bomber. Look at this big beast, isn't it? It's a mint. Do you reckon there's actually any planes out of here? Do you reckon they're used in actually Top Gun? That one there actually looks like a Top Gun plane, doesn't it? Could that be. One, that actually looks like it. Maybe we should check Reminds it Reminds me of a Vulcan. I don't know if it is or not. I, I know there's a Vulcan at the Norwich Air Museum. I would not be surprised if you actually did not just say that as a Vulcan and that actually is a Vulcan. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. You, you are literally on fire today. Yep. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to Samantha's Plane Spotting Spot Adventures. <laughs> I will link her channel down below. I think the sign's at the front there that says what it is. It definitely does look like something from Top Gun, because you can look, see the missile flip. Yeah. I've been done for six minutes. Well, I've not seen the whole film, I've only seen clips of like the F 14s. Yeah. Look at this, look, guys. This is, this is, but this is mental. Huh? Sam reckons that this is a falcon. I could be wrong. It's a Gloucester javelin. Ah, oh, so it's sort of similar then. Sort of, probably built in the same. Has the sort of same wing shape. Yeah, it sort of does actually. But I know there's definitely a falcon at the Norwich Air Museum. Hey, yeah. We're actually at Flipston, guys, so... This is the sign for Flipston. All the opening stuff. Ah, Super Sabre! Oh, the good old Super Sabre. Look at the, the thing in the front there. Look at the size of it. Goes That's there, huge. All the way across to there. Is that, is that wind speed thing? Um, or it could be refueling. Oh, think it's usually when there's something sticking out that long, it's for refueling mid-air. Wow. Don't worry, I'll be going for nine. Crikey. Well, you did start with two minutes before me. Yeah. So I'm confused, Sam. We should have started at the same time. What? Oh, the entrance is there. Is that, that's is actually it, a javelin. Entrance at the back as well? Um, I think that's kind of like the output. You know how sometimes um, some planes use afterburners, like the F-18s these days and stuff? What's an afterburner? Yikes, now you're asking. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Okay, it's technical. <laughs> you better look at it up. Ah, oh, Gloucester Meteor. So I take it that bit of the backstand works like a bit like a rudder in water, would? The direction? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and then the bit, the flappy bit on the edge of the top bit, that's the uh, elevator tabs right. that can make it go up or down. Looks like Charlotte has joined us. What's this one? Just to look at the sign. Lockheed T3A. And then this one is a C Vixen. If I said that right. 